Yes, indeed. Today was an important day because it was my ten-minute rule book, which is a private member's bill, which is going to change the law in terms of how emergency response drivers are treated. At the moment, they have the test applied to them, which is the universal test of a competent, careful driver, which means that, for example, they can go over a, a, a road traffic light or break the speed limit. But if it's an accident of any kind, then they're judged as a competent and careful driver, not as a competent and careful trained response driver. So their professional training cannot be brought into consideration. So I went through a number of cases, including one from Norfolk, one from Merseyside, Hampshire, where officers were following their, their training to the letter, they were behaving incredibly professionally and correctly. Some of these cases involved mopeds, where the drivers deliberately took their helmets off. And in a number of the cases, the officers were obviously suspended, because that has to happen. But then we had a very long period of investigation by the CPS and by the IPCC. The forces in question lose their experienced officer. The families have to go through a huge amount of trauma, as far as the officers are concerned. My bill would change that. It would not, categorically not, be a charter for police officers behaving irresponsibly. They would still have to follow the training. They would not be able to, for example, if there, was, if there were aggravated factors like being over limit or maybe driving really recklessly, that would still be a factor that would influence the prosecution. And the other point I made, which is really positive, is that the, the training across the forces now has been, it's been standardised. So there's one training module across all forces. So we've got standard training around the country. This bill went down very well. We've got support on across the House uh, from Conservative MPs, a number of Labour MPs. And what was really positive, I thought, was that the Home Office Minister, Nick Hurd, who had just made a statement to the House on police funding, stayed for the statement and was nodding uh, vigorously throughout uh, the 10-minute rule bill. And I think we have got a lot of goodwill moving our way. What happens next? We hope very much this bill will have a chance of going through. Unless it has government support absolutely throughout, it won't go through, but there may be a chance of having it tacked on to a government bill at a later stage. But I think, most importantly, we have made the point very clearly today that the law does need changing. These incredibly professional, dedicated officers who are protecting us, keeping us safe, are having one hand tied behind their back, which I think is completely unacceptable, and, and this bill would change that.